All right, so this video is all about selecting things, okay? So X to get rid of this, and then we're going to add mesh torus. Okay, so let's go into edit mode, and let's look at the multiple ways to highlight geometry via components, okay? One is edges, okay, edges. So if you go shift alt, you get this. If you go shift alt, you get another one. Shift alt, you get another one. Shift alt, you get another one. So this is highlighting edge loops. So just kind of practice that. Shift alt. Okay, edge loops are really handy to have as far as the selection is concerned because you can make mass changes very quickly. Okay, the other one is edge rings. Okay, but edge rings, I would argue that on uh, the edge component is kind of useless, but I'll show you how to do it. Control Alt does that. Okay, so now you have all the edge rings going around here, but it's more handy to have that as a face. So faces, when you do that, again, you have to click right on the line, you get this. The reason that's so powerful is because now you can use the extrude button to extrude it up. Okay, and even if it's on the side, you do the uh, control alt then extrude, and then scale. I just scale it in the white, boom, like that. Cool. Now, if you wanted to highlight several edge rings in faces, you just go uh, Control Alt, and then Shift Control Alt. Then you can highlight them like that. And then you can show both of them at the same time. Ooh. All right, let's say I wanted to select all the ones on the inside of this cylinder. Well, again, you could do the that. Very easy. Okay. But there is another way you can select things on a surface like this, and that is select, select links, and you got linked, shortest path, and select flat faces. Okay, so if you don't know the other one, that's this one. So select, we also have edge loops, edge rings, Those are the other ones that you really use a lot of. Yeah. Later we'll look at coplanar and malniformed. But for right now, let's stick with the basics. So now that we have the ability to select edge loops and edge rings, what does that mean? Well, you can make really fast changes on large meshes uh, and keep it uniform to going all the way around. Like this, this torus is a perfect example of edge rings and edge loops at, at their fullest power. Uh, sure, you can have a cube and that works too. So, but with a cube, you would have to add edge loops in order for that to work. So that's where the edge loop cut tool comes in. And you can make edges on a cube. So we're going to study this a little bit more when we get into uniformity of a mesh and why that's important. But for right now, I would say the torus is good. And uh, we will be going over this tool in the next video. 
so that you can make very complex shapes if you want to. So now that we have selections down, let's look at the extrude and edge loop tools in the next video.